If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some fire legends, like some really good legends in this game. And I'm really excited to go through all of them. Honestly, guys, one of the better legend drops ready of the year. These players are getting pretty good. I really do like them. The two that we're going to see today are, they're, they're both meta players. You're going to probably want them on your team more than likely if you can afford them. They're going to be pretty expensive because they are 91s, which means they just took the overall threshold up a bit, right? The first thing, guys, shout out to Poodle Squad. Dalton Duquette today, shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. As per always, if you guys want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video, be subbed, have that noti bell on, and of course, comment Poodle Squad so I see your comment. Nonetheless, guys, if you need coins, head over to my new sponsor down below. Make sure to use code Poodle at checkout. And yeah, that's about it for that, guys. Let's head on over to the Legends. Let's go check out the sets you guys can see today's Legends. I mean, by the title, you more or less probably have seen it already. So we do have players, and we got Jerry Rice and Mike Haynes. Now, you may not know Mike Haynes. I mean, that, that name was a bit uh, less familiar to me, but Jerry Rice, you got to know, right? One of the GOAT wide receivers, if not the GOAT wide receiver, right? He's looking good. His car's looking really good. I imagine that it is already 1030, so there's nothing's up yet. The packs probably just went live at this point. But Jerry Rice looks super, super fire. You guys got to see his stats. I mean, he's gonna he's a meta. In, the, in next gen Madden, with how route running is and speed and everything, he can do it all. And they actually made him fast this year, which last year, base Jerry Rice had like an 86, 87 speed. This year, he has a 91, I believe. So that's pretty, pretty crazy, to be quite honest with you guys. Now, let's go over to the solos. Of course, that's in-game. Make sure you guys are playing your solos weekly. I actually do have to catch them on one set because of when I went to Zerk's house, I actually did miss that weekend. So, make sure you're playing your solos. Collect your free little base players because, of course, you can either A, quick sell them for training, which is super cheap training every week, and you get their power-up, which, again, is a super easy way to go ahead and do stuff. So, you're the Mike Haynes and the Jerry Rice solo right here. It's pretty simple. Go play those. I got to catch up on last week's, which was Kevin Green and Leonard Davis, which actually was one of the worst weeks, in my opinion, in terms of names, right? And, of course, you guys do get your strategy cards and stuff as you guys do play along, so make sure you are collecting that as well. At some point, I imagine they'll give some pretty good ones for Legends. So, moving on from that... The pack should be in store at this point. Now, I'm contemplating opening up a bundle, guys. If you guys want to see a bundle, comment down below. I think I may do a nice little 8-pack bundle today. I'm really debating it. Want to get the coins up. Want to get some new players. Kind of want that Jerry Rice, and the coins are running a little low. So, if I want him, I'm probably going to have to go pay for him at this point, right? I mean, that's kind of what we're looking at here. But moving on, if we head on over to the auction block, they should be live any second at this point now. In terms of the packs, if you guys didn't open a bundle today, I mean, Jerry Rice and Haynes are both meta players, like I said, so either way, they're both going to be really good. So I really don't see anything wrong with, of course, buying them or going forward and opening packs for them. But again, coins are always the better value. So if you guys do want to go use coins, my sponsor down below is super cheap coins. You can get a mill and probably pick up both of them for under 50 bucks. Very cheap in terms of coin to, you know, coin to value ratio. But in my opinion, like I said, you're going to want both these guys. Um, should you open packs for them? I mean, I may, you know, for the video and everything, but I'm not sure if I recommend you doing that. I mean... If you do it, I understand the reasoning for the legends, of course. I'm just not sure about whether or not I want to spend, you know, like unless you want, if you want to spend the money for it. Um, in terms of legends, I mean, they're pretty good values. If you pull a full legend, you're pretty much getting a pretty good value. Unless you pull like a straight hand, you're getting a player above like 280. Um, of course, you still could pull a few other cards out of those packs as well. Hopefully, they are hitting the block pretty soon. Let's go filter out by legend though. Jerry's gonna go for oh, Larry. I see uh, I see one of the new ones right there. Let's filter out by cornerback. I mean, hopefully, there's not another one that could mess this uh, filter up. Mike Haynes, 800k, of course, that's not going to be the case. So, this is his base legend card right here. I do want to see his LTD as well. So, he's got 90 speed, of course, which is really, really good for a corner. That means he's probably the fastest, like, good corner in the game. 91 Excel, 88 Agility, 91 Jumping, 87 Play Rec, 90 Man, 90 Zone, 91 Press. So, he's going to be an all-threshold 90 corner for the most part. And, of course, if you do power him up, he will get 91 speed as well as, you know, He's six foot two, 192. Like that's great height for next gen. I really like that. He also has 91 jumping. He'll have 80 catching powered up. And let's check out change of direction to 90, which is really good. He's gonna have a 90 juke. He's gonna be like a little baby Deion Sanders. Catching traffic 71, break tackle 80, block shed 80. Holy crap! Mike Haynes is a Mike Haynes is a demon. Mike Haynes is an absolute demon, guys. You gotta you gotta get Mike Haynes. He's gonna be a meta corner. You're gonna have to get Mike Haynes if you wanna if you wanna compete corner wise, like with the best corners in the game. Mike Davis has got to be your guy. That's wild. Mike Davis for sure is the guy that I'm gonna want out of all these guys. I mean, Jerry Rice is great, of course, but I already have Calvin. I have Tyreek. So that's the thing. I want Jerry, but I have Calvin, Tyreek, and Hester. So I really don't. I'm not exactly that inclined to get Jerry for the most part. Like he's he's the best wide receiver in the game. But I feel like I can get by with the wide receivers I do have. Although route tech on Jerry Rice has to go crazy, right? You you just gotta imagine it does. But Mike Haynes is looking super fire. I really do like this card. Um, 
Again, can I see you going any other route at corner right now? I mean, if you got Revis and Haynes, you pretty much got those meta corners locked up. He should be down to probably 380, 400K pretty fast. I mean, you know how that goes. Again, they are 91, so that could hold their value up more than, than usual. Let's check out Jerry Rice. He should be up on the block at this point, considering there's already some Mike Haynes up. All right, so that should drive. By the way, the prices of some of these wide receivers should go down based on Jerry Rice. So 891K for Jerry Rice. This card again, I'm, I'm going to see the behind the card stats, but he's looking crazy again. 91 speed. Makes him 92 speed, powered up and coming up super fast, of course. 87 jumping, 91 catching, 90 catching, traffic, 90 specs. So he's gonna be one of the best catching guys in the game. 88 short, 90 medium, 91 deep. So he's gonna be one of the best route runners in the game, of course. All threshold. He's a threshold across the board. Six foot two. He's tall enough with 200 weight. 89 agility, 91 speed, of course. Again, he's got 87 jumping, which is good. Now he has 90 change of direction, 91 ball carrier vision, 91 juke move. This card's crazy. 91 break tackle. Again, I wish it was a bit heavier. You know, it was a bit on the skinnier side. But this card, again, just this card just goes crazy. I mean, both these cards are super, super good. If I had to pick between the two, right? Jerry is maybe the best wide receiver in the game. It's very obvious. See if we can compare off the screen. But, you know, comparing's just been really broken this year. We compare to my Calvin Johnson, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're both going to be great. Same speed. But, of course, he's powered up. So, Jerry Ray is going to be a little one speed faster. He's not going to be able to jump as high, which is kind of crazy because Calvin's also six foot five, right? But that's going to be the big selling point with next gen is that Calvin's six foot five and he weighs like 200 something. Like he's heavy. He's heavy. So that's going to go a longer way in terms of what you can do with him. Uh, catching is pretty close, although Jerry Rice is going to be a better catcher. Spec catch with Calvin. Like Calvin's going to get those crazy animations that you just don't. They both get deep. They both get similar short. The difference is going to be Jerry gets the medium. Personally, I think I'd prefer Calvin for next gen. For myself personally, because the way I've been playing this year, like you could throw things over the middle and he just jumps in front of people and they can't, they can't, like it's realistic now. It's not like last year where like Bryce Callahan, five foot nine corner, if you hold Y at the right time, we'll get that crazy, stupid, predetermined animation where he'll out jump him. Calvin goes up. You're not touching that. You're not touching that ball. The only way it's not going to be, it won't be a pick. The only way it's going to be anything is if Calvin gets hit and he drops it on the way down or he can't, he can't bring it down. But they're close enough for me. Uh, Jerry gets the obviously gets the plus speed. So on my team, Jerry Rice on like a 94 speed, which is pretty awesome. Uh, sorry, no. Yeah, because Calvin, yeah. Cal it depends on oh, if I have a legend speed card. Okay, so if I get a legend speed card, we'll get a 93. But Calvin has the ultimate kickoff speed. So for me, it's just a no-brainer. Calvin has that speed for me. I really I, I prefer that, honestly. So for me, Calvin's gonna be the guy. But Jerry Rice is insane. I mean, I think if you have at least one of the two, you're pretty good for your number one. Although having Jerry and Calvin on both sides is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you, you just, you can't argue that one. And then of course, hopefully the LTD card arc goes up pretty soon so I can show you what that looks like. I mean, that's going to be expensive, that LTD one. Um, still no LTD Rice. I mean, maybe they're not in packs. There'll be some make rich. You know that goes. Uh, okay, back to Mike Haynes. So Mike Haynes, let's compare him to Darrell Revis. You guys can get a pretty good idea of how they compare. Though I really like Revis. You know, I'm a New York guy. I might, I'm a Giants fan, but still being from New York, it's always cool to see some New York-based legends, you know. Can never complain about that. So here we go. So speed, Darrell's going to be down one speed, which isn't horrible, actually, because Darrell's an 89 and Mike Haynes is a 91. So that's a two-plus difference. So technically, Darrell is faster per overall. Excel's a little bit different. 5'11", he's tall. He's smaller. Agility is the same. Jumping's less, play rex less, man's less, zone's less, press is less. They're very, very close. If Darrell was a 91 overall, he would be better. If Darrell was a 91 overall, they'd have the same press. They'd have probably the same zone. They'd have the same man. He'd have better play rec. He'd have less jumping, better agility. He'd have probably the same excel, and he'd be faster. So Darrell would be very similar, if anything. But overall, Darrell Revis is fire. I still like it, but Mike Haynes, that's what I'm saying. That's the difference that you're getting, right? Jerry versus Calvin was very minuscule for best corner versus, you know, best wide receiver versus best wide receiver. Best corner versus next best corner right now is looking like Mike Haynes takes the cake. So if I was you guys, Mike Haynes is the more priority pickup, in my opinion, because I think Calvin gets the job done. But I think you want both, obviously. It's really up to you, but I already have the Tyreek and I have the... I have the Tyreek and the Hester, so I really feel like it'd be stupid of me to go spend, you know, a whole rack right now on, you know, a Madden rack on going ahead and getting rice. But guys, better for the video. If you guys want to see packs, comment down below. Like the video up. If the video does really well and you guys want to see packs, I will open up a bundle today. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.